Hey everybody, Jeff here from Outseta. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Outseta's new Webflow app to sync a lead capture form in Outseta with a native Webflow form. So using a native Webflow form, we're gonna do a couple things. We're going to capture information from a lead. We're gonna add it to a sales pipeline. And we're also going to trigger an email automation. Let's do it. So jumping into Outseta, I can come to email and lead capture forms. And you see, I've created a lead capture form here uh, that we are just calling our demo request form. And on this form, I'm asking for email, first name, last name, and then there's a field that says, what do you want to learn about our product? An important concept here is when a lead capture form is submitted, it's going to create a people record in Outseta. So in order to add this custom property, what do you want to learn about our product, for example, I had to first come to CRM and custom properties, select person records, and you can see I added a field down here to our person records. So we have a place to store that information when the form is submitted. Going back over to our lead capture form, a couple other items of note. Uh, if I come here, you can see that I've also chosen to create a deal when this lead capture form is submitted. So deals are how you can track your sales pipeline within Outseta. I've gone ahead and set up a sales pipeline that I'll show you in a minute. But by selecting this option, I'm not only capturing the information submitted by the lead capture form, but I'm also creating a deal in my sales pipeline. And I've assigned the lead captured uh, to a particular stage of my sales pipeline called demo requested. So let's go look at that real quick. If I come over to CRM and deals, you can see I've set up the sales pipeline. There's a column here called demo requested. That's where these leads are going to end up. Uh, I have other fields like demo completed, one closed, lost, you get the idea. But that's the infrastructure that's been set up in Outseta. Now let's jump into Webflow and map a form uh, to our lead capture form. Here I am in Webflow uh, and you can see on my screen, we've got this request a demo form. It's asking for the exact same information as our Outseta form, email, first name, last name, and what do you want to learn about our product? So first thing I'm gonna do is open the Outset of Webflow app. And now I just need to select the form here. I'm gonna click, click Add Lead Capture Form. You can again uh, insert an Outset of Form into your site if you want to, but in this case, we're going to map to a Webflow form. So I'm going to find the lead form, uh, which is called Demo Request Form from Outset and then map it to a Webflow form, which is called our lead capture form. If I scroll down here, now I'm gonna proceed with the actual mapping of the fields on the Webflow form to the fields in Outseta. So the Webflow field is called email. It's called the same thing in Outseta. Same with uh, first name, last name, and uh, this what do you want to learn about our product field? With those fields mapped, I just click add to element and now I publish the site. We'll give that a minute to publish here. Perfect. Now I can jump over to the public version of this page. I'm going to reload the site and down here, I find my request a demo form. So let's fill it out. All right. So there's a lead on your website, they fill out your demo request form, they click submit, and they get the confirmation message that you've set up on your native Webflow form as well. Now we can jump back into Outseta and we're gonna see that a few things have occurred. Let's refresh this page. And you'll see that uh, a lead was added to this demo requested column. It's Jeff Roberts, that's me, I just filled out the form. It tells me that I was added to the pipeline specifically because I 
filled out the demo request form so you know where that lead came from. And you can now track the lead here uh, and move the lead along your sales pipeline. So when you actually do a demo, for example, you could just move the deal over to the demo completed column. Beyond that, I can come over to email and lead capture forms. You'll see there's now one submission of my lead capture form. And if I scroll to the bottom of the page, it will show me who submitted that form. And I can pull up information uh, and see all of the information that was submitted as part of that form. So you capture all that data in Outseta, you create a lead, and now you can also use this information to trigger email automations. There's a few different approaches that you can use to do that, but let's come over to CRM and segments. And there's two conditions that you might want to use in this scenario. Uh, I'll call this our demo request segment. And you could use uh, one of two conditions. You could use deal pipeline stage equals, and then demo requested. What this would do is add anybody that shows up in your demo requested sales pipeline stage to this segment. And then you can use that segment to trigger an email automation. But I'm gonna use a different uh, condition instead. I'm going to use person lead form submission equals and then demo request form. So the idea here, you could use this in the context of a sales pipeline, but also you could just use this for like a contact us type form. If you just wanna trigger a subsequent email automation when a particular lead capture form is submitted, this is the right way to do it. So person lead form submission equals demo request form. I go ahead and click add. Outset it goes out and finds everybody that has submitted that particular lead capture form. So you can see I'm now in this segment. And then if you wanted to create an automation, so let's say you wanted to send an email um, that shares a calendar link so this person could book a session with you, you can come to Drip Campaigns. You're gonna click Add a Drip Campaign. Let's call this Demo Request. And you'll set some conditions to start. The condition in this case is going to be Person Added to a Segment and Demo Request, and you click Save. So that's how you would trigger a subsequent email automation. Someone submits that form, they're added to a segment, and then we use the fact that they were added to a segment to trigger a subsequent email automation. If you have any questions about using lead capture forms in Outseta with native Webflow forms, please reach out to our team at support at Thanks so much.